Good morning, Denver. It's your favorite realtor, Evan Backlit, and I'm back this week to give you guys your weekly market update. All right, let's get right to it. As you know by now, we look at three main factors that determines where we're currently sitting in the market and where we're going to be going in the future. Those three are one, median list price, two, average days on market, and three, the amount of inventory we currently have here in the Denver metro area. So let's get right into the median list price. As you know, since early this summer, right around May, June time, we've seen a steady decline in that median list price here in the Denver metro area. We started off at a top at $799,000, almost hitting that $800,000 mark, and now that has dropped down to $650,000 when looking at the seven day average. Due to that new interest rate, increase the higher inventory levels we're seeing as well as the higher average days on market this trend is looking to continue throughout this year although the home prices in denver are decreasing this could be seen as a great opportunity for buyers to step back into the market who were previously priced out earlier this summer all right let's look at inventory since right around april march time we've seen inventory increase here in the denver metro we were sitting at an all-time low at that time with only about 200 homes on the market that has fortunately ticked up all the way to now breaching over 1,000 homes currently available. We did see a pretty heavy increase for late summer going into the fall, but that increase is starting to taper off as we're seeing that seven day average slow down. This is great for buyers because this means that there's more homes available for them to view, put offers on, and go under contract. However, when we're looking for sellers, this means that there's currently more competition on the market. When we're looking at average days on market, it's very much the same story as inventory. We saw an all time low average days on the market earlier this summer, and that trend has been increasing. And now we're currently sitting between 45 to 50 days on the market. This is still not yet an all time high for this year as that was back in February where we were sitting over 50 days on the market. Average days on market truly tells us how much activity is currently going on in the Denver Metro. How many buyers are out there as well as combined with how many inventory and how many homes are available for sale. The main drivers for this average days on market increasing is truly the amount of inventory increasing here in Denver Metro as well as that increase in interest rates. This means that buyers who were in the market this past summer could potentially now be priced out with that new interest rates taken in effect. So what does this mean? Are we now in a buyer's market? Are we in a balanced market or are we still in the seller's market? We are currently in a seller's market, but we're definitely tilting over towards a balanced market. This means that if we continue to see the interest rates rise, lower amount of buyers, as well as the inventory in Denver Metro increase, that might finally switch us over to a buyer's market, but we are not there yet. So we are still in a seller's market. Stay tuned to see all of the changes that happens week over week. Next week, Corey is getting in front of the camera to update you guys on what happened over this weekend. Talk to you soon.